You're doing something, you always do something clever, but this mm. time it's with potatoes. It is, because uh, we can feel that cold now. It's getting sure. under our skin. Yes. Yes, so we do. thought comfort food. So all week you're going to be doing pies, but with a twist. Ooh. And mine is going to be with a potato. A potato pie? A potato pie in a potato. So oh, first okay. of all, I've wet the potato. Right. And I'm just going to roll it in salt like that. Give it a prick. Now, the thing is, this is not the time nor the place. Do a couple of those. Let me put that out of the way. Okay. Time nor the place for a microwave potato. Oh, oh, We've right. forgotten the art of salting a potato and letting it really bake for an hour. We need okay. that. We need that fluffy, tasty sure. jacket potato for this rather special pie. So imagine I've put those potatoes in for an hour okay. and I'm waiting for the skin <laughs> to get nice and crispy while I make the filling for our pie. So in here I put a little bit of oil. Now the reason I make a point of saying any little bit of oil is because in a minute I'm going to add a knob of butter. OK, <laughs> that's all right though. Give you take, you give you take. <laughs> so I've softened down my onions and my mushrooms and to that I'm going to add a knob of butter to make my roux. Right. Right. So melt that down. Oh, that's bubbling along nicely. Let's turn that one off. OK. Um, melt that down. And then to that, I'm going to add my flour. Now, don't worry if it goes a bit yucky looking. Oh, it's cause OK. Because it, it yeah. won't stay yucky. Oh, OK. It's only for a moment. Lovely. Give it a bit of a stir, because this is going to give us our nice, thick, creamy filling for our jacket potato. Right. Then add some stock. Now, a lot of people, this is where I can get brownie points, a lot of people might make this all cream at this point. Right. We don't need to. We okay. can put stock in here, get a lovely flavour. If you're not going to add chicken later, you could do that with vegetable stock. But as we're going to be adding our leftover chicken from our roast... Oh, you well see done, I, there? I know. Uh, Very good. Not, want not. <laughs> um, we're using chicken stock, but, of course, you can use vegetable stock. Sure. So, over here, I already have one beautifully going. So, that's my thickened stock... Uh, my onions and my mushrooms. And to that, I'm going to add... Oh, where's my other spoon? Oh, I'll have to use... Oh, I'll use, use that talk. one. It's fine. Yeah, right, yeah, now, yeah. now, I'm adding some French mustard, but be sure, don't use that horrible brown one. No. Because it would be disgusting if you do. OK. It's horrible. I won't. So use yellow French mustard, right. Dijon mustard. Okay. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> A little splash of cream. Uh -huh. There we go. I warned you. I said I was going to use no, it, but I didn't fine. use too much. It's absolutely delicious. There we go. It's all right. Delicious. Comforting. Comforting. Like Turn that. that down. Bung in my chicken. Yeah. Now, if you haven't got that much left on your bird from your roast, like you would, we never do in our house, <laughs> just add I? more veg. Oh, sure. So, OK. So it's a bit of a poverty pot. Whatever you've got in the fridge, bung it bung in. in. Right. So let that warm through. Of course, very, very important that we, because we're heating up chicken. Yes. That that's warmed through. Sure. But don't put it too... too don't put it up too high. Right. Because then okay. it will get dry. OK. So this is the potato pie bit. Just cut off the top bit. Yeah. Like that. Take your potato out. Clever. Make... Oh, look, that's a problem. See... That's Sniff proper. that. But it's not like a microwave. No, one, it's not. It? The microwave no. one sometimes goes a bit kind of like... Licky. Yes. So there we've got it. Mash that up. Somebody's yeah. already done that for me rather nicely. Lovely. And imagine that this is now heated through. This it's beautiful. And we just simply put it in our pie. That's so clever. Like clear. that. I like this. Uh, put a bit of parsley on the top. What a good idea. And then... It's so cute. You put your mash. Yeah. I'm running out of time here. That's all right. You know what? Running. I might let you try one. Oh, good, please. Oh, I finished that one off. How about that? So you put the mash on and then do you put yeah. it under the grill? You put it under the grill. <gasps> Look, there you go. You do that. Do you know, is it OK if I don't eat the peas, Mum? Yeah, no, I know you don't like peas. <laughs> That's why I said to them, put them in a pot. Because she, she doesn't like peas. I know I'm terrible, but... So I'm going to carry on doing this, putting this on top. Mmm. Isn't that it clever? Brilliant. And you know what? You can do it with cottage pie. Oh, my goodness, pie. that's fantastic. <clears throat> if you've got mince today, oh, just, big just do a shepherd's pie instead. Mm. And the kids love it. Mmm. Because they love to have their own thing, don't they, the kids? That is so good and that is proper comforting. Do you know what that would be really good for? Bonfire parties. Wouldn't it? Oh. That's a good idea. Just in a bowl, then. Because that'll be soon. Or just even in a napkin. Or Halloween. There you go. Nadia, as always, a triumph. <sighs> a vegetable triumph. That's what I am. Thank That's you. what I tell my fella every morning. <laughs> I'm a triumph. <laughs>